up guys and welcome back once again to another Telltale Games episode, that's right, and I just wanted to take this time to thank each and every single one of you guys that are watching this series. I know again, it's not the most popular series in my palette of series, but I would like to encourage you guys to watch, you know, the series or the series is that I do that... Are, don't pertain to Roblox. I understand some of you guys like say, oh, it's not Roblox. I'm just going to skip over it. But for those of you guys that are watching this, you're freaking amazing. Thank you for supporting this series. And um, I love you guys. I love everybody that watches all my all my episodes. Don't get me wrong. But um, this series is just like it's something that, you know, um, was cool to me during my childhood with Back to the Future. And I feel like this is kind of like expressing part of who I am. And... Um, Again, I'm going to continue doing this series regardless of view counts and whatnot. So if you guys do like this series, be sure to hit that like button. Share it. Tell people about it. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get back into this. Let's continue where we left. Great Scots, we gotta get to 88 miles per hour! Boom! I love that part. That part gets me every time. Every time. All right. All right, so last time we left off in the, the front of the theater here, we found, um, um, what is it, Artie McFly? Artie, Artie McFly. Okay, so let's see what our goal is now. Get Trixie and Arthur together. So, okay, so Emmett's going to get his big idea while watching Frankenstein, huh? I guess that explains a lot about Doc. Yeah, the Doc, uh, is a, um... Mad scientist and um, gets inspiration from another mad scientist. Okay, so I think I should probably go find Trixie now. And then I gotta get her to go to the Majestic Arms and meet with uh, um, Artie so that way she can uh, take her ev feel confident enough to take her evidence and uh, um, lock away uh, Tannin for good. Okay, so let's go back into the club since they think I'm part of some mob family that I'm not. And, um, go talk to Trixie. Trixie girl! Trixie, where are you? We're gonna, we're gonna enter. Welcome back, sir. Welcome back, sir. That's right. I don't have to go through the whole, um, sequence of, of answering the weird questions again. That's, that's awesome. What's it gonna take to get Trixie to squeal on a kid? Alright, so now... Let's go talk to Trixie. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? Oh, it's Arthur. Artie, Arthur, what? I found Arthur! He's staying at the Majestic Arms. That flea bag? He's too classy for that. Yeah, well, anyway. You wanna pop over there right now and talk to him about this evidence you got. I can't take more than a five minute break. Get him to come here. I'm not sure he'd find this place inviting. Then I guess he might say we're stuck at an impasse. An impasse? Who talks like that? Well, break a leg out right. there. So Thanks. I guess let's go go try talking to Arthur now again. Let's see if maybe there's a let's see if maybe there's like a mutual place or something where they can talk. Back to the Majestic Arms. Alright. Alright, here we go. Back to the Majestic Arms. Hey, Doc, I could use a little help. What's the problem? Okay. Is Artie still here? He's in the bathroom. Hey, Artie, open up. You've got a gangster to bring down. Is it time for me to meet this Sylvia? No, it's time for you to meet Trixie. Trixie says she's got something that might be able to send Kid up the river, but that you're the only one she trusts to check it out. Me? What is she? Oh, I know what she's done. Clever. Care to let us in on the secret? Sorry, guys, but if Trixie's keeping it a secret, then so am I. That's all well and good, Mr. McFly, but if you and Trixie are going to collaborate on this evidence, we'll need to arrange a rendezvous. Well, Trixie's chained to kids speakeasy. So we'll have to bring Arthur to Trixie. Uh-uh. 
No way am I getting anywhere near that place again. I don't know how you talked <laughs> me into so this. Just stay back anyway. here in the shadows and don't come out until you see Trixie. You're sure I'll be safe here? Perfectly safe. We'd never make you take any unnecessary... <gasps> Sagan. Where's Kid? Whoa. Okay, don't so they worry. recognize Doc. Alright, so let's go talk to Trixie and tell her that um, Arthur's in the alleyway. So she can act like she's going to smoke a cigarette. Or whatever Welcome she's back, do. sir. Share the information with Arthur. We can get this all What's wrapped up. What's it gonna up. take to get Trixie no problem, to squeal right? on a kid? Because there's there's never any problems in these games, right? We never have any problems. Uh, Trixie? Ever. Yeah? Okay, Arthur's Guess who's waiting in the alley to talk with you? Honey? The one and only. It wasn't easy to track him down. I had Have to. Come up for me, cue ball. I'm taking a smoke break. I had a girl. Hey, you. Huh? Yeah, jerk. I saw you making eyes at my Eunice. Huh? Sorry, pal. I don't have time for a fight. Why, you? I'll never get to Carnegie Hall at this rate. All right, fella, <laughs> well, I think you're done for tonight. His hey, Eunice? Where do you think you're going? Me? Yeah, you. What do you know about this? Uh, nothing, I... Ah! What the heck? What is going on? Trixie? Break silver cue ball. Whatever you say, babe. What was that? What the heck happened? Uh, Trixie? Yeah? What happened in the alley with Arthur? I don't want to talk about it. Okay, Break a leg let's go there. check on Arthur. Thanks. Um, that sounded like gunshots. Or something. What is going on? You know, this is supposed to go without, without any issues, you know, like, without a hitch? Not have more problems. What? Oh, that's not Party? <laughs> you missed a hell of a party, buddy. Kid! Well, what happened? Oh, you're gonna love this. So, I'm hanging out in the club when all of a sudden I get an urge to drain the lizard, right? I come out into the alley, and who do I see? None other than that scrawny, subpoena answering rat, Artie McFly. Oh, and no. get this the little worms oh, whisper in no. a way I'll conquistadorial like with my Trixie! Oh no. Naturally, I pull out Kid Jr. and prepare to put a couple bullets in McFly's head, which causes Artie's nose to stop bleeding because he's a big wuss. And then. Uh. <laughs> and then. <laughs> what? Trixie literally gets down on the knees and begs me to let him live! <laughs> huh? Seriously, down on her knees, crying and begging for McFly's life. So, uh, what did you do? What could I do? I fired two shots in the air and told Artie to take a hike. Huh, that was merciful. Hey, I got plenty of mercy. Besides, now Trixie owes me big time, <clears throat> and Kid Tannen always collects on his debts. Always. Well, that's not good. So now Trixie's indebted to him. Crap. Crap. That's gonna make things a little bit more complicated. Um, Artie? Oh no, oh no, oh no. So, hold on, should I find Artie? Oh, nope, I gotta go convince Trixie. Okay, so let's go back in here. Oh crap, so I gotta talk to Trixie again. Welcome back, sir. Why is Tannen such a jerk? Okay, Trixie? Uh, Trixie? Yeah? I talked to Kid. Oh? He told me about Artie. Oh. It was awesome of you to plead for his life. And it was uh, awesome of Kid to spare it. So you see why I gotta get rid of all the dirt I got on Kid. As long as he's loyal to me, I gotta stay loyal to him. That's not be... Okay, so Kid spared Artie's life, but 
That doesn't make him a saint. Believe me, no one knows that better than me. But if Kid can let Audie off the hook, I guess I can let him off the hook. Know what I mean? What? No, I don't know what you mean, lady. About Artie McFly. What about him? Have you heard from him? Is he okay? I think something bad might have happened to him. What? You mean Kid went back on his promise? Uh, yeah, uh, that's right. Oh no! Wait, oh, poor Artie! Poor oh, no. sweet little Artie! I know. That rattlesnake kid! He can't get away with this! You gonna turn over the evidence you got against him? Am I ever! Just watch me! Wait a minute! What evidence do you have that kid bumped Artie off? Um, it's just a hunch. Keep your hunches for the racetrack! It ain't nice to get a girl all worked up over unsubstantiated rumors! Unsubstantiated? Okay, alright, so... Break a leg right, out me... there. Thanks. Alright, so let me go talk to... Well, let me go try to find Artie. Oh, jeez. Why? Why is this so complex? Okay, alright, let's go find Artie. Did your nose... Did you have to start bleeding out of your nose orifice? You made me think that you got shot, dude. And I was about to find your... Your... Body. Oh, man. Alright. Hopefully he's here in the Majestic Arms. I don't know where else he would go. Hey, Doc. I could use a little help. What's the problem? The rendezvous was a bust, Doc. Tana caught Artie and Trixie in the alley. Trixie begged for his life, but now she's acting weird. You better talk to her before she does something rash. I just did talk to her and she would... Okay, I better get back to fixing history. Be careful, Marty. Where did... Where did Arthur go? Hold on. Convince Trixie to turn on Tan. How am I supposed to... Okay, hold on. Let's go to our hints. Arthur is a dead ringer for the young George McFly. Zane could use a new subject to draw. Have Zane draw a character creature from your picture of George. Okay, so maybe if Zane draws a picture of Artie and puts it on the wall, then she'll think that Artie is dead. Oh man, we're being so deceitful right now. Oh, I hate the fact that we're lying to Trixie, but Artie does have to lay low. Okay, all right, let's go talk to Zane. Oh, man. All right, all right, here we go. Hey, what? Talk to I you later. Okay. Hey, look, right. a paying customer. <laughs> all right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to go to our inventory. Picture of... Here we go. You think you could draw a picture of this guy? Here we go. Sure. Hey, that looks like that Artie McFly think. Hmm, I never noticed that before. Hey, uh, can you give him a hat like Artie wears? Voila! Nice job. Now, go tell them chumps at the New Yorker. <laughs> go tell them chumps at the New Yorker. Okay, now we have evidence. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? Here we go. Alright. About, about Artie Arthur. McFly. What about him? Have you heard from him? Is he okay? I He's think not okay. something bad might have happened to him. You think? Yeah. And you think Kid did it, so you think I'd better hand over what I got on him. Yeah. Well, I think you'd better come back when you got something a little more solid. Break okay, a leg we'll, out there. Let's go Thanks. in my inventory and click on her with it. So here we go. I don't think anyone will be interested in this caricature until it's hanging on the wall of Kids Club. How the heck am I supposed to hang it on the wall? Kids victims at least have the consultation of knowing they'll be immortalized in his wall of fame. The empty frame on the wall suggests there's about to be a new addition to the Wall of Fame. Your character, George, would look nice on the wall. I get that, I get that, but how do I get it on the wall? 
Ooh, whoa, that was weird. He started wigging out on me. Okay, right here. Sorry about this, Dad. There we go. Alright. So now... Now we go talk to Trixie. Okay, so I was able to exit... Oh. Hello? If you can only walk the correct direction... Uh, Trixie? Yeah? Look, lady. Look who made the Wall I of Fame. I don't know how to tell you this, but I think you should check out the Wall of Fame. <laughs> Why? What is it? Artie! I don't believe it! We had a deal! Artie was there supposed we go. to be... Safe! I don't know what to say. Well, I do. Felony tax evasion. What? Before he died, Artie was teaching me about all sorts of stuff. Literature, history, accounting. And I made a big oh. discovery while I was copying all of kids' books. This establishment ain't entirely on the up and up. Really? Oh, what I knew about all the gangster idea? stuff. That kind of thing you expect from tough guys like Hid. But when I found out he ain't been paying taxes on his speakeasy profits, well... Cheating Uncle Sam is one step over the line. Once I turn that... this over to the police, they'll throw the book at him. This book? Hey, Copper! That's what you... That is what... Puts you over the limit? Oh, for the love of God. Parker... He's not pickled. interested. Figures. Half the police force is in Tannen's pocket. Give me a few minutes to work on him. I've got a hunch he'll come around. Boss? Do you mind? I'm trying to have a good time here. I think you'll want to see this. Are you crazy? Bringing a stick of dynamite into my club? That's just it, boss. It's all over the place. I think our speakeasy arsonist is getting ready to strike again. Uh-oh. Somebody's about to blow up the club. That's not good. Okay, alright, well, let me go try and talk to freaking this guy, because this guy Danny, is tanked. Should Stop you be drinking so much on duty? Probably not, but this joint ain't open when I'm off duty. Okay, if Officer Parker wants to bury his troubles, if you're going to help him, you've got to unearth them, okay? Parker isn't in a mood to talk. How can you change the mood in the speakeasy? Extraordinarily new potent cheap music is now coward. Parker will tell you his woes if he's in a blue mood. Pick out a sad song for Trixie to Okay. Alright, so I gotta okay, I get it now. I get it now. So I gotta ha ask her if she does requests, and then I gotta pick a sad song. Okay, alright, so let's go look at Parker. Okay. Alright, Danny. buddy. You Oh wait, wait, no, no, not See you him later, first. Danny. Not him first. We got I'll be here. First. That's right. That's right. Why? Why do I? Why do I? I'm, I'm, I'm so confused. Come on, Trixie. Uh, Trixie? Yeah. Okay. Do you take? How about requests? Stairway to Heaven? I sing popular songs, kiddo. You want hymns? Go to a church. You know what you'd sing great? This one song by. Take it up with the piano player. He does the set list. Break a okay. leg out there. Thanks. So Trixie's not the one. I gotta talk to Cue Ball. Hey, back off, kid. I'm trying to entertain some people here. Um, sad song. There we go. Come to me, my melancholy baby. I think I did it. Cuddle up and don't sing it, girl. This just makes me want to crush. Alright, alright, let's go to talk to Parker now. 
I think this should uh, change his mood. Okay, and he starts spilling his guts out. Tell me about your troubles. those troubles. It all started on uh, June 14th. I was chasing down one of Tam's boys when this uh, this car, straight out of Buck Rogers, popped up out of nowhere and ran my car off the road. No. Then later, I, I lost track of a witness. The poor schlub hasn't been heard from since. That wasn't your fault. And then, to top it off, I somehow managed to lose custody of an 80-year-old arsonist. When not one, but two of those godforsaken space cars showed up and whisked him away. <laughs> That's unbelievable. That's what the chief said. Demoted me on the spot. My family sent me to a psych psychiatrist because they thought I was seeing things. And worst of all, my gal Betty left me because she thinks I'm a bad provider and a head case. Oh, no. <laughs> Betty? As in Jennifer's grandma Betty? <laughs> what? Listen, Danny, it's really important that you get back together with Betty. Oh, that ship sailed. What the heck with her? I got a little secret that'll set me up with women twice as classy as Betty will ever be. Oh, man. You got a secret? Okay. What is it? I don't think I should tell you. When I'm sad like this, I don't think straight. But listen. Yes? I like you. You're my new best friend. Oh. Well, it, I'm glad that I'm your new best friend. I get it, man. I get it. You know what I'm saying? You've been drinking, you know, a few down, and um, I become your best friend, you know, and that's, that's awesome. You know, drinking you that really much is drinking. really bad for your health. What are you, my mother? More like future grandson-in-law. What? Never mind. Future grandson-in-law. Oh! Oh, no. So that's the other side of my family. Oh, no. See you later, Danny. I'll be here. Okay, so I gotta get... Oh, geez, this is getting way more complicated. Parker's not in the mood to spill his secret, but we've already learned that his moods are changeable, okay? If you get Trixie to change her tune, Parker may change his again, okay? Pick out a song that will prompt Parker to confide in you. Okay, so I gotta change the music again. Talk to him again. All right. Secret song. There we go. <laughs> Just, you know, I'm glad that the titles of these songs pretty much correlate with what I need. Sing it, Trixie. Whisper in my ear, so no one can hear. Secrets are for sharing love. They're not meant for blaring love. Whisper in my ear. So no well, one can hear. I don't know if I want him to whisper sweet, sweet nothings of love in my ear, but um, tell me your secrets, man. Mad man. Danny, you. So about that secret. Oh yeah, my secret. Well, you're my pal, so I can tell you, but don't let it get out. I've been looking for Tannen for over a month now. What? It's true. What? All I gotta do is look the That's other way while good. evidence is getting destroyed or a truck full of gin is coming across the county line and ten make sure an extra bunch of bills makes their way into my pay envelope. Great deal, huh? No, not a great deal. What's the problem? People need to drink, right? As long as no one's getting hurt, why shouldn't Daniel J. Parker make a few bucks on the action? But people are getting hurt. But people are getting hurt. Kid's a killer. Exactly. Ah, oh, that's just rumors and circumnavigational evidence. Although, that wall of fame is pretty spooky. Oh god, I've made a horrible mistake! I thought yes. if I could get my hands on some money, that Betty'd take me back. But when she finds out what I've done, she'll never even talk to me again. <laughs> what have I done? 
Come on, pull Danny, yourself together. pull yourself together. It's not so bad. Not so bad? I'm a corrupt cop who's lost his only chance at true love. How's well, that not that's, so that's, bad? <laughs> that's a tough break, dude, but I mean, you know, you lay in your own grave, dude. All right. I guess now I know why you won't arrest Tannen. You're working for him. Bingo! Bingo! Hang in there, okay. Danny. Oh, God. Okay, so now let's look at the hints. They should have changed. Nothing in Tri Trixie's uh, repertoire can budge Parker from his black mood. Nothing in his current repertoire. In her current repertoire. Trixie isn't the only warbler hill warbler in Hill Valley. Edna. You should care. Let's go talk to Edna if real quick here. Get the meat and stony stare. If I never successful it will Edna! What? What was that song you were singing earlier? Do you like it? I wrote it myself. It really gets the toes tapping at the Stay Sober Society meetings. Although I suppose that could be the shakes. Would you like to hear it again? Uh, yes. sure. I knew if I waited long enough, somebody would request it. You say you've lost your self-respect, but you should care. It's not too late to redirect and start to care. Don't despise oh, the good and pure. So Time to rise up from the sewer. Wash off all that foul manure. Show the world you care. You should care. Uh, you should care. What people think of you. Of goals that you could name. Reclaiming your good name is what you ought to do. You should care. You should care. If your reputation is in disrepair, it's not going to hurt you to reclaim your virtue. For you should Catchy. You really think so? You. Yeah, it's uh, got a good hook to it. One needs a good hook if one is fishing for souls. Okay. Can I have you a copy of your I think I could have song? a copy of your You Should Care lyrics? I've uh, got a club of my own that could really use some inspiring. Sure. Let me just get a page out of the hymnal. There you are. Hey, thanks. See ya. Keep fighting Bye. the good fight. Okay, lady. You that that song was horrible. Thank you for hurting my ears. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go have some real, a real person I can sing sing it now. Okay. Oh. All right. So now here we go. Back to add in. All right. So we're gonna use our inventory. Use this. Right there. I really should give these lyrics to someone who could do them justice. Oh, oh, okay. I thought all the lyrics went there, but I, I'll give them. Hey, the Trixie, instead. look over there. Why? Didn't you see it? No. Ah, uh, never mind. Is she gonna notice? Okay, so what should I do here? Um, you should care. You okay. should care, you should care, what people think of you. She's right. I can turn my life around. There we go. Sure you can. You know what? I used to be a good cop. And yeah, I've had a few bad breaks. Possibly even a psychotic one that caused me to imagine a disappearing space car. But I'm a good man. <laughs> And all I need to do to win Betty back is be the same good man I always was. And let the chips fall where they may. All right. That's hey, right. Miss Trotter, you wanted to speak with me?
What happened to my louse of an ex-boyfriend? I don't know. Rats. I told the chief we need a team of bloodhounds like they got over in Placerville. But in the meantime... All right, everyone. Party's over. Everyone out of the speakeasy. Speakeasy? You're mistaken, officer. This is an ice cream parlor. <laughs> nice try, you. Out! Nice try, you. Yeah, okay. But you didn't just have Al Game. Like, you weren't just serving him all night. Callahan! Would the Valenti mob be willing to help, uh, defuse this little situation? Hmm. I don't know. The Valenti mob doesn't like being associated with losers. Hey, we ain't begging here. Kid just <laughs> thought JJ might like a piece of the action. Especially now that he's just caught the speakeasy arsonist. Wait, you mean... Doc? Doc? You ain't with the Valenti gang at all, are you? What do you know uh -oh. about the arsonist? Come on, you. Off to the station house. Kid's gonna get you, rat. He's gonna get all of you. Yeah, yeah. Totally, yeah, because well, you know what? you're not being called away in here. Thanks to Miss Trotter's evidence, the entire Hill Valley police force is out looking for Kid and his goons. You don't understand. We've got to find him now. He's captured a friend of mine. Who? Uh, never mind. Don't worry. We've got the entire town square sealed off. I think that's within not a what I said, but here, okay. We'll find him eventually. Uh, I don't think we have time for eventually. Where's Kid Tanner? Okay, you know what? Inventory? Do I have something of Doc's? I don't have anything of Doc's, do I? Crap, okay. Um, hold on. Let's hey, boy, how you doing? Good dog. Alright, hint, 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 hint. Try looking around the alley. Maybe Kid left something behind. Okay. Okay. Trash cans, trash cans. Let's see. Ew. Oh, flask. Irving Kid Tannen. Guess he Kid dropped Tannen. this on Martin's his way out. Mess. It's empty. Figures. But it's not for not because I have a freaking bloodhound right here of my own. Einie? Hey Einie, get, get your nose over here. Alright. I really don't think Tan and the Doc are with Herbert Hoover, Einie. Okay, okay, I'll check it out. Button. Okay. Well, let's click that All button. right, Doc. Here I come. Callahan! What are you doing here? Uh, never mind. Come here and help me get rid of this stinking arsonist. Edna? I caught her planting dynamite while he was clearing out the soup kitchen. Guess Sagan was innocent after all. I was researching a story, you ignoramus! Tell it to St. Peter's sister. Hey, what's all this? Parker? Tannen, you're under arrest. Get him, Sacramento boy. I can't do that, kid. What? Oh, I get it. Why don't you let go of Miss Strickland and call it a night? Hey, look over there! Watch out! Give it up, Tannen. The alley's blocked off and so are the roads out of town. It's over. Over? Nothing is over until Kid Tannen says it's over! What is going on? There's a freaking shootout! Defeat Kid With what? I don't have a gun? Before you can bring down Kid, you'll have to get the innocent bystanders out of harm's way. Edna counts as an innocent bystander. I, I, I kind of figured. Edna's pretty resourceful. Buy her a little time and she can rescue herself. If you can distract Kid away from Edna long enough, she'll do the rest. Get Kid's hand. You have to move. Make it easy on yourself, okay. Tannen. Right. Okay. Barrels. Okay. Yeah. 
He's not about to let me in. Yo, Tannen! Make like a tree and die, rat! It's leave, not die. No one messes with Kid Tannen! Whoa! Where did I put the barrel? Where did that barrel just go? Did I legit just shove that barrel in my magical freaking pouch somewhere Come in my on, armpit? Kid. You know how this will end. Okay, okay, what was the last hit here? To get Kid Tannen to look away from Edna, you'll need to move to behind the police car. Oh, okay. Alright, alright. Right, here we go. Police car. Right. Edna's... Okay, alright, alright. Hey, kid! Let, phony! Alright, Edna's out. Are you sure just me? Are you- Hey, Get Laura! Out, more Edna. on this! Edna, escape! Yo, Tannen! Okay. Make like a tree and die, rat! That's not what you're supposed to do! <gasps> go, Edna, go! Hey! Had a girl. Hey, kid! Let, phony! So, I'm afraid I'm finding it difficult to concentrate with all the bullets flying around my head, Mr. Callahan. Right. Make it easy on yourself, Tannen. Okay, okay, hints, 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 hints. Time for Tannen to get a taste of his own medicine, okay? Best get rid of that barrel. It's leaking all over your inventory. Wait. It's leaking all over your inventory. Roll the barrel into the garage where Tannen's hiding. <laughs> Tannins. Oh, oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. So here we go. Here Never we go. make things and easy. Into the Bowling gap. for ten. Hey, kid. Eat lead, phony. A trail of explosive booze leading right into the garage. Okay. Oh, oh, that's right. That's right. I got the lighter. I got the lighter. I got the lighter. Right. Here. Hey, kid! Ha! That ain't a real gun! Oh, right. I forgot. I better just get rid of it then. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Nailed it. Hey, he's getting away! Oh, no. Doc's yes. gonna do something. No. There! Good as new. No. Oh, look, Tannen. The judge's son. All right, Parker. I want a getaway car and a clear road to Nevada, or the brown kid gets it. Doc. Marty. Doc? Yes, it's me. I'm talking to you through the radio apparatus my younger self has installed in the rocket car. What's going on up there? It's not good, Doc. Trixie and Parker did their part, but now Kid's holding you hostage. Right, Scott. No kidding. Try to get Kid in the car. Once he's inside, give me a signal, and I'll do the rest. How am I? You! Whoa, 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 whoa. Emmett! You're the cause of all of this, ain't you? Oh, oh. Should've oh, whoa, known. He's got a knife. You don't look He's like any Callahan I ever seen. Yeah, well, what kind of gangster's named Irving? Okay, hands. They call them restraints for a reason. I get that, I get that. When the time is right, pull the restraint down on Kid. Okay, okay, okay. All right. No one makes a fool out of me, you... Hey! Boom! Ah, kid it! What the heck? Yes! Nailed it! Oh! Alright, the manure pile. Up the manure I'm placing piles. you under arrest for kidnapping, attempted murder, tax evasion, <laughs> and smelling like a piece of crap. Tax <laughs> evasion? <laughs> Haven't you heard? The feds are practically drooling over Trixie's books. 
Trixie? That's oh, what you get oh. for killing Artie, you bastard! Oh. What? I didn't... Trixie? Artie? Oh! He just right, took your Grandpa. girl! My poor car. I believe I owe you an apology, Mr. Brown. Thanks to your ridiculous contraption, Hill Valley's most notorious criminal is finally headed to prison. No apologies necessary, Miss Strickland. My rocket car may have accidentally saved the day, but only because it's a completely out-of-control failure. I need a new idea. If you're willing to listen, I might have a few suggestions. But first, I think we should take in a movie. I'm all yours, Mr. Brown. Oh, I think you'll see? like it. It's all about a brilliant scientist with an overabundance of hubris. That's right. Whew. I saved the freaking day. Come on, Einie. Awesome. Let's go find Doc. <gasps> oh, man. I love it. I love it. Thanks for letting me fly the DeLorean, Doc. This thing's a blast. I'm absolutely sure that everything's back to normal. Totally. Kids going to jail, Emmett's going to see Frankenstein, and there's no such thing as a tanning crime family in 1986. And we remembered Einstein this time, too. Hill Valley crime rate at all time low. Hmm. Well, except for Grandpa necking with Trixie, I think we're ready to go back to 1986. Do you feel yourself fading out of existence? No. Then, as long as your awesome. father's still born in seven years, I say, let your grandfather sow his oats. Sowing oats? Is that what's going on with you and Edna? What are you talking about? Emmett and Edna, they're gonna go see Frankenstein together. That's... odd. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no. We've got to get back in. Oh, this could be disastrous. Stop. No, 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 not. Crap. Crap. Well. Smashed into the sign. Wait, where's Doc? Where'd you go, Doc? Relax. Yeah. We've got everything under control. Doc? What the heck is that? I don't even know what just happened, but Doc just went all crazy. Oh, man. Influence. That's all I can say. Well, guys, um... Martin McFly, age 18. Okay, Doc, let's see preview. what kind of nightmare alternate timeline I've landed in this time. Father George, Mother Lorraine... Hill Valley under Citizen Brown. It's not quite the contented town you were led to believe it was. A re-education program? What the hell? Please don't swear, Martin. It makes me uncomfortable. Zero demerits. Until this morning. We're through, McFly. I'll never date such a square again. My own girlfriend thinks I'm a square? The obvious question, Mr. McFly, is... What happened to you? Jesus Christ, Doc. What happened to you? Wow. Well, that's um, interesting. So, um, guys, if you like this video, be sure to slap that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, or if you're just plain new to my channel. Whew. And as always, guys, stay awesome. I'm Dark J, and, well, I'm out. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Um, um, go away. I don't want any. I 
I told you. I don't want any. <laughs>